I think this is very much like a counterpay to Darkseer watching him AD playing Skyscraper previously because that 5x sped up clip that JC broke down, this is the same thing. 1 minute 30 seconds, they just get into the building, Noodle finds a pick onto Nave, that's a great start for the attack, but it's very slow. Spot walks in, summon the wall, guess what? Mute Jammer. So half the round burn, if they've just walked in the door, somehow the second summon goes off, they EMP'd it, there we go. So now we have a player more from DC stuck in a corner. Maybe it could build a two-man lead here. Spoit oh. walks in and beheads Pan Bazoo. They look like they want some more, but Canadian has managed to evade them inside of T Room. Flashed out. He's going to just be eating flashes like it's his day job. Another one will come in from Cameraman now as NJR has died. DZ just hoping that Canadian can keep numbers close. Not to be the case. It's all up to Bolo in a 1v3. He's got that ACOG, he's got a mirror window. This is your real last line of defense to stop them from coming towards the other side of the map, but the backside of Bolo gets droned out over by Bomb Chassis. Great mechanical skill from Bolo, but additional skill is there to be had from oh. Arady. Bolo, I don't know if that was a fat finger or what the what the exact plan was there, but he somehow manages to take an awful lot of damage. Hold on. Holding Cord in this position, pulling out the sidearm after dropping Noodle. Spam Ping's coming in could very easily turn this, oh. but Kino pinches in with cameraman distracting Bolo the other way around. M80 started off strong, and they end strong despite the best efforts from Bolo. Again, how you go about dealing with these operators, especially the Deimos, who we have seen some really good looks on. Just as we see a good look Whoa. of a grenade bounced around and NJR swings on the cameraman who decides that backstairs was the part of the map that he wanted to hold. Um. Noodle amidst the smoke, getting diffuser down, but there's Nate. Nitro cell in hand. Shooting through the wall is Kino to eliminate Bolo. He had the marks. He saw the yellow suit of armor. And now, swing on to Nave, but a miss. Easy standing pat for the moment. Half of the round has gone by. Citizen trying his best to track down these members of DZ. He found Panbazoo and now through the floor wow. will take out Nafe. Relatively easy finish for him. Fuser obviously surrendered earlier when Noodle died to that Nitro Cell. For the remaining two players of M80, your task is to either kill the last three from DZ or retrieve the Diffuser, which seems unlikely at this point. Easy of established crosses so that if you try to push towards that Diffuser, you'll be finished off. NJR being washed. I spoit. Down he goes. <laughs> Citizen scrambling from below. He's got the read, but very limited time, Nick. This should be a relatively easy Dark Zero round. Remaining. They're not even <laughs> bothering to engage. Look at this. Citizen walking in, making uh. a ton of noise now. Over by Golden T. Might get the swing around, but NJR flicks at the last second, and DZ prevails. If DZ thinks it's working, or if Troy thinks it's working in particular, Troy is a multi-time world champion. I think he knows yeah. a little bit better than me. I sit here in the cheap seats. Well, actually, that's not true. I, I don't know if sponsor obligations allow me to say the chair I'm sitting in, but this was certainly not a cheap seat. Same with yours. <laughs> it, was a, it was a turn of phrase. Canadian decides to tussle with Kino onto that geisha window. There's nothing cheap about that. I think you could say is maybe Kino getting a relative freebie, losing half of his HP, and Geisha has now been consumed by M80 as DZ fall off. They don't need to waste a lot of time because whether it's just due to M80 droning on other parts of the map or Canadian being a thorn in their side, there's only a minute remaining for the attackers to get in. Oh, yeah. And not just that, but M80 have two drones left. And, you know, there are two flanks typically open on the attack. There are two staircases, for example. Either you'll have the flanks open, which means DC can go for a flank for free, or they cannot drone the entries. And that's why we see Citizen check every single corner on that window, because you don't know what's actually clear. They're going to go in completely blind into the bomb side attack, and they have Grim, thankfully. That can give them intel. But there it is, the swing from Bolo, down to a 4v4. An MP7, it stings. Oh boy, does it ever. And Bolo will now be in the midst of the smoke. Watch towards the opening as the fire will rain in front of his very eyes. This is a very heavy split push at the moment from M80. For a second there, like cameraman was going to get the read on Bolo. Kino suffering some damage as he walks on through. Ouch. Bolo still in this position. It's a powerful one. You'd think that Bolo's the only player left with what's going on with DZ as M80 decides to feed themselves one by one by one, but the cavalry shows up at the right time. DZ out muscle the M80 push. 
Execution like how Canadian was executed. <laughs> Ooh, Geisha. Not that kind. Not if you're a DC fan. Maybe not that kind. You know, I'd really love to ask Citizen why he runs ammunitions charm on every single gun. Maybe he's a fan. Have you thought about that? I'm a fan of Ann, but I don't run a charm on every gun. Pam is oh, the second last bullet. Mag dumps into Citizen. That's first pick is DZ. Hold down below. The other side of the map, though. The question that was asked before round one even started was whether DZ would defend that bedroom bathroom bomb site. Not so far. Three rounds and DZ has gone through the same standard rotation that we see time and time again. Maybe not time and time again, not if that part of the map is being used more often. Now Noodle looking for a kill on back stairs, oh. but he's ran into it by NJR. Both of them knew that a fight was coming. NJR on five and one so far through three active rounds, four active rounds, even though it hasn't finished yet. Seems like everybody wants to get in on the fun here. One call, one kill from Pambazoo, one from Bolo, one from NJR. Cameraman find himself in Geisha, but empty handed as he can't get through that castle barricade. The only way out is to melee it. There's Bolo picked off by Spoif. Is M80 are making quick work now that they've gotten into the building upstairs, but we'll find a bit of a troubling situation. Down goes Cameraman, oh. Spoit will follow. NJR and Pambazoo, the last two kills, and DZ answer back. I mean, I will say a lot of what M80 can talk about, and as we heard, doesn't need to be site-specific here. DZ could have very obviously spent that entire time talking about <laughs> nothing more. <laughs> Bolo's cursor there. Nothing more than this bomb set in particular. And hey, what a start it is for Dark Zero. A minute off the clock. Kino and Noodle off the board. Oh boy. Chaos in the server, yeah? <laughs> I mean, what do you make of this? Some 80 technical timeout. They talk about what to fix. They hunt down the warden, sure, but what does it cost you? Probably a little bit too much in this round. Very quick now for Spoit to get in through the rotate. Cameraman dies. Dark Zero had lost NJR and. They trade back. Spoit has found himself inside the bomb site. The ash with diffuser, that's an abnormality. Citizen watching quite intently. Where is DZ going to come from? Is Canadian on the gadget to see that this home oh, hold on. is now being diffused by none other than M80, who get a pick and then head out of the building. There might only be two of them, but Spoit and Citizen can do some serious damage to the best of the teams. Spoit's in a strong spot too. Those kill holes that Dark Zero are looking down through do not provide a proper vantage point on the Spoit. So instead they have to take the engagement directly and they'll do just that DZ. The last remaining players all coalescing around that part of the map, gunning him down their citizen to the rescue, but the flank from Nath will shut it down. The two Brits engaging in a 1v1, but it's Dark Zero's Brit to come out ahead. You know, make main stage. Yep. Finish in that fifth to sixth place. In the top six, you could say, but not much better than sixth. And well, it's been a an odd run for them. One overtime win, one overtime loss, one regulation oh. lost, and a minus five round differential. Easy have struggled to close things out without going to overtime. I mean, closing out the match in a positive direction has been the bigger struggle for Dark Zero, but a 4-1 scoreline on defense on Skyscraper is pretty good. We'll see if they can hang on to it when they switch sides. Yep, we see again timer halfway point. Troy was stuck in terrace for a bit, but just falls back off that angle, I imagine. This is technically the quickest round for Mady to roam clear. It's still not quick, but it's the quickest. Halfway through the round, but Pembasu has not been killed just yet. Bolo goes down first, but the roaming presence is still there. Pembasu gets the right timing, could get a massive flank onto a Mady. Kino holding on to that diffuser, floating alone over by Ooh. Drum. He's got backup, but not within striking distance. DZ licking their chops at one player from M80. Oh. Deciding to go on their own. Spoit's been downed. Kino to the rescue. Dark Zero, though, have yet to secure a kill as Spoit is brought back from near death. That Maestro Cam getting good value, looking long range. As DZ can continue to rotate, continue to work around. 40 seconds left. They've got some spam pings, but they cannot relinquish control of the bomb site or else bad will become worse. Surprise, Pemba didn't go for the flank. He's instead back to the bomb side. They're planting. Continuity for below. That's the win condition. Goes out, but they relocate. Now, immediately, they're looking very strong in this position because now they can plant. There's no C4 below. 
Absolutely zero chance that Pambazoo gets on in. Spoit, his third kill so far this round. As the chunky monkey of NJR's Maestro gets up top, no ace to be had for Spoit. He's too busy getting the diffuser down as Noodle gets one. Spoit a 4K, an M80. Send the first half, send the first half into the books. A 4-2 half, though, for DZ. Spoit's got two goo mines in back pocket. He can litter the way back to the bomb site with some pain and misfortune for the attackers. Three drones all used at him, and yet Spoit is handling all of them. Cannot fly mm. blind in this position. That might be a bit of sloppiness from Bolo. Oh. As Spoit is just shredding DZ. Canadian to the rescue, but the damage has already been done at this point. Ambazoo and Bolo down for the count. A terrible start from Dark Zero on their first attack. You know, it's just waiting so patiently. Nitrous already as well. His noodle lurks down below. If Canadian wants to get that diffuser off, Noodle will be waiting patiently for that. If you can gain any information, DZ now moving their forces ever closer to the bomb site, but NJR has another idea. Somebody needs to pressure cameraman and Kino. DZ putting NJR in that position. Down they all go. Boy, that was okay. Well, that one was over in a hurry. M80. We've been seeing a fair bit of Brava so far in this matchup. And again, Brava oftentimes a reactive operator. You have a lot of gadgets there from the defenders? Well, bring a Brava. A little trickster op will be able to steal things away from you. Down oh. goes Spoit, Pambazoo, successful on the entry. Entry kills so far. Obviously a big part of this matchup is now Cameraman. Side of reception does some serious work to try to get rid of Pambazoo off that position. No damage though done. Just as we did in our very first matchup, we've got a live listen-in ready for you. And we'll get to hear how Dark Zero plans their execute for the final minute of this round. Good one, uh, Rob. Not, seen, know where this bar not seen anything, no. no. Okay, I can eat delivery, your Delivery's good, Rob. He's in spot with me. Okay, let me open up black window here. So now I can just stack up with you. One keg. I'm ready to I only, I only have I ice tea. Are we ready? I'm, I'm ready for, I'm there's ready there's a wub on us. There's a wub on us. Fuck, yeah, I have my black health. Deep barbecue, deep barbecue. Keg crossed. Deep barbecue as well. Who is it? Who down, is it? I'm down. Lucy, Lucy I am down. Can we can can reset and pick? Cross. I'm walking on black here. For yeah. I'll be, be box yeah, I don't know for if I can res. I'm one HP. I can open this wall, maybe. I need help so I can res. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. This guy's in barbecue. He's on the I'm bomb here. barbecue, I think. He flash. On the bomb. Yep. On the bomb. Now on the bomb, dead. Only nice. Can you flash and maybe cross on me? Cross those keg. Cross those keg. Keg, keg, keg. here. One cat. One cat. One cat. Soulless. Above, Soulless. above, above. I'm gonna try yeah. to go above real quick. Pick it down these skulls. Pick it down these skulls. Both above, both above. You gotta try to plant chase. I gotta try. I go for purple. In your long, in your long. I'm playing purple side. Okay. In my hall. You gotta play like. Two. Blind. He's blind. You're gonna have time. You're gonna have time. Call if he goes black. That's it. One v one. It's no longer. It's a better character. Not black. I'll see if he goes black. Looks like he's going down. Yeah. Going down. You can win from above as well if you need to. On a black. Going fish side. Going back to barbecue door. In barbecue. No eyes now. Sure. Sure. Now that Ash's pick rate is starting to climb yet again, whether it be just changes to the ACOGs and the scopes, as you mentioned, or because of how good Ash's utility can be, it's a good reminder that Ash's breaching rounds are capable of shattering mirror windows. And because of this, now Citizen will be playing blind behind that spot. Pambazu, the first one to die. The first interaction involves Spoit. Spoit just needs to hold this position on Warden. That's it. Citizen far enough back, falling off of that mirror window as we talked about, swinging onto the Ash, but Bolo survives for the time being. Citizen re-engaging, leading Bolo right into the line of fire. Scrambling back. Where's the bomb site through Dragon? Easy paying dearly to gain control of this part of the map. And maybe they have one strat right now. Oh, damn, is it good. Get open and kill, fall back to bomb side, play favorable numbers, win the round. That's how all three defensive rounds so far have basically played out, and it looks to be the same way it goes here as well. They're back on side, they got the pick, Canadian and Ape both very low in HP. DC, they do have the fire and smoke from the capital, but again, they don't have the numbers to work with this. MA didn't have information, they had no drones. DC have seven drones left, but they're lacking guns. They're lacking actual people to send into battle right now on the bomb side. 
Nafe almost dies now as well. In fact, he is down, but there's a trade. It's 2v4, still favoring M80. Tuber out will be able to freeze you out of the objective, quite literally, as that's exactly what Noodle's objective is. NJR with one, but it'll twist and turn, and not just utility. It's the firepower from Tuber out that does so much damage. M80 takes the lead. They pick up their fifth round. Found it interesting that he referenced that it was exactly what Lowe's did to them, and I mean, yeah, it, you, it requires the whole team to know specifically what that was because if you heard, there was very little specifics beyond that. Oh. Now, one of the first things that Mint said was, "Let's watch our frustration. How frustrated are you if your knife getting ran out on by Noodle just seconds in? Now there could be yet another from Noodle. Oh my! No. How is he still alive?" He'll have to swing and blind, he gets the kill on the Pambazoo. Still being watched and still firing away. He's at over half HP. DZ barely putting a no. dent onto him. It's spoiled to get that pick with Noodle playing down below. DZ falling apart in front of our very eyes. I think DC made the effort to full send there because when they lost Nave and lost the demos, the whole t like the entire strategy that they were building fell apart. And with that, they also get the round M80 with the first kill and the last. So M80, they played very aggressive last round. Look what they're doing now. They're playing Tuberau, Kaid, Mira, or my Warden. And oh. again, DC with similar struggles. They lo lose the opening duel. Wall doesn't get opened up correctly. And you don't have another half region to back this up. This is really terrible if you're DC. You can only imagine the frustration of our good friend Fresh as he watches this game. Would have just hit midnight. I, I mean, Europe's daylight savings time is a little different. Midnight, yeah. But it's very close to midnight there for him. As that is a, a tremendous blunder. Cameraman dies down below. Two barrow. Two barrow. Newest operator. Well, second newest operator, I guess now technically Deimos is. Yes, he is. Things flying by. No ability to freeze that gadgetry, slow down the attackers. And I mean, DZ have been a slow team, but Ambazoo has something to say about that. Canadian taking damage. He sprints on in. The B-bomb site seems to be all his. But Ambazoo oh. dies from an angle he wasn't expecting. Citizen falters as well, but DZ managed to pull off a successful defuse plant. Spoil. Keeping a numbers advantage for his team. Now it's a 2v3 with Bolo and Naif, the two newest additions, as the last two to save this matchup. M80 want all three of these points. Spoit getting shut down by Naif inside a bathroom. You know, on the diffuser, they're counter disabling it. He needs to stop him, picked apart. It's all up to Naif now with time still favoring M80. Noodle will hop on it. Naif has to get in. Noodle at the halfway point, off he goes! Oh, no. no way! Noodle clutches out and he has time to get it done! A heroic individual effort, and Noodle will be the star of the show! M80 stun DZ!